sometimes the goal of a design production is to produce a book or a brochure to go out to uh, to clients or uh, other audiences. Um, Revit's a pretty good tool for producing a book just within the software, not having to create a complex workflow that uses other products. Um, this is an example of a sheet layout, eight and a half by 11 sheet layout that, uh, that has um, boxes set on it for defining, um, for keeping pictures and images the same size and according to a standard layout. So uh, I wanna kind of quickly show you how to do that. I'm gonna go to new and title block and I'll get a title block object. And this is an eight and a half by 11. And I can quickly kind of sketch some layout lines. I'm gonna put a gutter over here. So uh, the idea is that nothing goes between the gutter and the nearest edge. Uh, because that's where the binding would go. Uh, and then I'll draw a, a box for a um, image area. So let's say we wanted uh, two side-by-side -side images here. And so I'll make one and I want to place it a quarter of an inch from the edge. And a quarter inch from the top. And, um, and I'm going to create a second box. And I'm going to make this edge over here a quarter inch from the gutter. And then I'm going to uh, play with these a little bit to get them uh, the size that I like. So four and a half inches, and this one is four and a quarter inches. So what if we make it 4.5 inches? And um, well, maybe we can make it bigger, uh, make it um, 4.75 4. inches. And make this one 4.75 inches. All right, so now we've got two images side by side. We could make uh, another uh, image box uh, underneath, uh, something like that. So these actual sizes don't really matter. That's up to you. How do you want it done? Uh, this is just an example. Uh, so make this 2.5. What does it look like? It looks okay. We'll just go with that. And I'll put, I'll make a copy of this one over there. So I'll select it and I'll copy from here to here. No, I didn't get a copy. And select it and copy. And I only want a single one, so I'm just going to do single from here to here. And I got my copy. So now I've got a page, a standard page layout uh, that has four boxes in it. And I can put four images on this layout. Now, there's another couple of things I want to do here. One is that it's a little bit difficult to remember how big these images are. So, uh, and in fact, that one's not right. Uh, let's make it, uh, this one was uh, four and three quarters. I actually want this one to be four and three quarters as well. And this one's um, was going to that quarter inch and that quarter inch um, and that 
five inches and this one so I've got my layout uh, now the next thing I want to do is I want to just specify uh, I want to leave a note on here for remind me the size of this viewport or this this area for an image so this is four uh, and three quarter inches so I'm just going to put a note Inches by four and three quarter inches, uh, and uh, and this one down here is a little bit smaller. It's uh, two and a half inches, so it's four and three quarter inches by two point five. And I'm not going to put that note on the other two. I mean, this seems like a good enough reminder. Uh, and now I've got that uh, layout done. So I'm going to save it, save it with a new name. Let's call it title block uh, left because this has the gutter on the right. So that's the edge of the left sided uh, page. Uh, let's call it title block left B and save it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I don't always want to see the guidelines. In fact, I probably don't want to see the guidelines. But I want to use the guidelines when I'm laying out the, the uh, drawing. So I want to see the guidelines some of the time. So uh, I can do that by selecting these elements that I just created. And I'm going to shift key and unselect this edge over here. And I'm going to change, I'm going to add a visibility parameter to them. So visibility, uh, I'll create a new one. I'm going to call it show guidelines. That should remind me of what it does. And this is a yes, no parameter. So we can turn those on and off. And now I have that show guidelines. I'm going to load it into my project so I can test it. I'll go into my hotel here and, um, and I want to uh, create a new sheet. And here's my title block left B. I'll create a new sheet like that. And then just to test it, I'll see if I can turn off those um, uh, guidelines. Yes, works perfectly. Turn them back on so I can use them for right now. Now I need a four and three quarter inch by four and three quarter inch drawing to fit in there. And I've got this level one up here and it has a crop on it, uh, but if I go to size crop, I can look at the size, and it's a little bit larger than I want, so I'm going to change it to 4.75 square, like that, and, uh, and I'm going to move it over just a little bit. And, uh, I think I'm going to turn off the, uh, the grid simply going to turn them off like that and that looks okay. Now I'm going to take this and drop it into my sheet. Drop it, I'm going to drop it onto my sheet. So 4.35 placeholder and I'll take this and drop it on there. Now, Often with Revit, we just drop it somewhere. We don't really care where it is. We're going to move it to the right place. Click the viewport, and I have to do it in this order. I don't quite know why, but I have to do it in this order. I click on the viewport, then I click on the move button, and I can pick this endpoint and snap it to this endpoint. And it snaps perfectly to my layout guidelines. Um, so you can see how you can start to lay out a, uh, a, uh, lay out the pages of a book so that they work beautifully. Now the last thing to do is probably to turn off the, um, guidelines themselves because I don't really need them. And I'll go to show guidelines and turn it off. And then I have my page of my book laid out the way I want it. 